Barbell row, we're doing a variation using the easy curl bar, underhand grip. Benny's got a little injury in his shoulder, um, so we're using underhand grip. I typically would use a, a barbell, an overhand grip, and go reasonably heavy on this one. It's a great mass building exercise for the lats and to strengthen the lower back. It'll get your whole back, it'll get your traps as well, your lower and mid traps, but it's a real short, strong lat movement. So again, keep the form. You'll see the boys keep an arch in the lower back, the chest up, the chin up and uh, get great scapular retraction, which means the shoulder blades coming back and together, like you're trying to squeeze a grape in between your shoulder blades. Nice. Let's go, Dave, come on, get the squeeze in. What you might notice when I go through the exercise, for me, I place my feet a bit wider apart. The wider your feet are, the more you can engage your glutes to support your lower back. <coughs> if you've got any hamstring issues or if you can get lower back pain from bent over movement. So keeping your feet close together is great. If you find discomfort, try placing your feet out, wider apart, activate your glutes, and then go through the movement from there. Everyone uh, does exercises slightly differently. For me, this second exercise, barbell row, is a great mass building movement. For me, I'd usually use a, often use a T-bar or a straight barbell. But I like to go relatively heavy, still keeping form, and use this as my good strength builder mass building exercise after doing something like an upper, uh, a wide grip pull down. So heavy set, last set, lots of intensity. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Strong. Pull. I think that's the way you do it. Yes, very nice. Strong. Yep. Pull. Hey. Pull. Come on, man. Pull. Squeeze. That's it. Come on. You get strong. Pull. Come on. Try and bang out at least four to five with relatively good form. Then as long as it's safe and I feel like I can get a few more out, I can do a few more reps with a little bit of body cheating. So obviously still being very aware of where my hips are, where my backs are, but I'll raise my chest a little more, just to get a little momentum. I figure when done safely, you're better off doing four to five strict reps with another four to five slightly cheating than you are just to stop at the four or five strict reps. So you're gonna get a little bit more overload and as long as it's done safely, hopefully a little bit more, I put through the muscle too.